Async and Await were introduced to TypeScript since version 1.7, and this concept was sort of borrowed from C Sharp. Nowadays, we have Async and Await supported by JavaScript since the specification of ECMAScript 2017. Async and Await were created to help us make asynchronous programming easier. Before we move into Async Await, I recommend you read about callbacks and promises if you haven't done so already. Since TypeScript transpiles down to any version of JavaScript, we can use Async and Await and even transpile down to JavaScript versions such as ES3. But in cases like this, we might need to use a polyfill. If you don't know what polyfills are, they're basically JavaScript libraries that are used when a certain features are not supported by the browser. With the help of the polyfills, those features are brought back to life. Now let's take a look at how we can use async and await. First, we should have an asynchronous piece of code. So we'll create a wait function where we will basically wait for a number of milliseconds before we do something. The function returns a promise object and promises are part of JavaScript since ES 2015. When we have a promise, and asynchronous calculation, in TypeScript we can use the async and await keywords. We do this by marking the function with the async keyword and then with the keyword await we will wait for the promise to return a value before we continue with our code execution. In this app function we have a couple of console logs and you might think that the wait for 100 milliseconds will execute first because it's the smallest number. But what actually happens is that execution will go one by one and the promise will resolve when the waiting for the specified millisecond passes, as you can see here in this example. Now that's essentially it. Async and await are basically syntactic sugar for promises. Now there are some other things that happen behind the hood with JavaScript, especially when we use asynchronous code, but I'll leave that for another video. Thanks everybody for watching, hope you learned something new, and I'll see you in the next one.